Well, it seems like we're off to a dead beginning. Came out here to fire up first class, get her all ready to go, get her all pumped up. The juice is flowing for a little bit on this rainy day. And uh, you guys know that little plug-in cooler that I have in there? The one that I keep my drinks in? Well, I forgot it plugged in. And it's been three days. It drained the batteries down to where it just click, 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 click. Now, that's why I've told you guys that that's different than that uh, plug-in refrigerator I have in there. That refrigerator, you can leave in there probably up to four days, the truck not running at all. It pulls very, very little juice. But that plug-in cooler, that thing pulls a lot of juice. So, here we are. We're jump-starting the pickup, or jump-starting the semi. We're going to get it up and running, fire things up, get her nice and juiced up, then we're going to run down to Omaha. Want to go to Omaha? <laughs> I knew that was going. <laughs> you were asking what I was doing. I was getting the camera out. And Dad's like putting his glasses off, looking for his hat. I seen you. Yeah, well, you know. What, you want to be a good Uber today? You got an Uber? I need an Uber. My wife and my children. What, I, yeah, what's wrong with your wife? I suppose I could have my daughter follow me down. Oh, boy. I could do that.
page for merging on. What, what do I always do? You have to have your blinker on. Yep. No blinker, no merging. That's all there is to it. If you don't have your blinker on, I ain't letting you on. Now, what did you just tell me? That that's how I remember to turn my blinker on because I'm scared there's going to be people like you out there. That's how I'm like, I'm always conscious about that because there might be a, if I'm not nice to truckers, then they might get up on my butt. So all I see is their grill in the background and then that they'll shut me off the road. And well, no, that's not a good way to be. They shouldn't do that. But well, if they don't have their blinker on, if you don't use your blinker when you're coming on to an on-ramp, then, well, I don't let you on. No, we just witnessed that. We just witnessed that. We've just witnessed probably about that three times in a row going through Omaha, Nebraska here. Use your blinkers. They're there for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the seat doesn't uh, go up fast enough for when the shop jumps in here. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just pumping it all the way up. That way they don't have to sit on the floor when they get in. Boy, I gotta tell you, it feels weird sitting up this high in this truck. If you guys ever wonder why I'm sitting on the floor, it's because I get seasick. If I gotta sit here and go like this up and down a road, I get seasick. I can't do it. So, um, it takes a while to pump air into this seat. So, a lot of the mechanics that get into it, they think I don't have air to it. And they got to do this trying to get away from everything. So, I sat here and I pushed the button and pushed the button and pushed the button. And I think I got it filled up with air enough to where they can jump in here and be okay. We're going to leave it here. They're going to fix our air conditioning because the sleeper air conditioning isn't working. And when that's not working, the whole truck's air conditioning isn't working. So we're going to leave it here. They're going to start tomorrow on it. And I'm hoping to get it back in time to hit the road yet this week to do some trucking. What the heck was that all about? All right, so I know this video is not going to come out by the time you guys in the shop see the truck. So I left a little sticker, or I left a little sign on the steering wheel that says, hey, guys, I left a bunch of stickers on the steering, on the passenger side seat. If you guys need stickers for your toolboxes, go ahead and grab them. We've been coming down here to NMC Caterpillar now for, well, it's probably been a couple years. Well, I can't give you an exact time. I know it's been a year guaranteed, maybe a year and a half, maybe two. They always treat me good down here. A lot of people would think, oh, why are you taking your truck to a cat shop? for air conditioner repair. They do everything with my truck. They they do as much as I possibly can have them do. The only thing so far that they have not done to the truck is um, tires, which I don't think they even do tire work here. I've never asked Eldon if they do tire work here. But that's where we're gonna leave the truck right now. I'm kinda worried, because on the way home, you guys seen all that traffic. Well, I'm making Tater Tot drive. That'd be hurt. I want her to get used to driving in traffic. And she goes, well, I drive in Sioux City all the time. And I go, well, they don't have as much traffic as Omaha does. So if this is my last recording, I will miss you guys.
70. Yeah. What's the speed limit? 65. You set the cruise at 60 when it's 55. Yeah, no I don't. Yeah, you do. I set it at 58. Normally it's 58, but yeah, you set it at 60. When do I set it at 60? When you're going places. I do. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, go ahead and they have their blinkers on, so go ahead and let them on. The first thing you said, uh, you're gonna make me go 65 exactly? I go, no, I'm not gonna make you go 65 exactly. I'm gonna make you go 58. No, I said, 60, 60. I said you can go 65. Or you can go under 65 if you want. You don't have to go exactly 65. Posse and demanding. But you're not going to go 70. You're not. You have too much of your mother in you. You have not ridden with me in quite some time now. And we're going to get this out of you. You say it like it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. You drive like you've been speeding too much. And I don't want that. Now you I don't have to stay in this lane. too much. I'm, I can't go into the other lane currently. Okay, fine then, fine. Do what you're going to do. Use your mirror. Drive fast. I know you want to drive fast, but it's not going to happen. I don't get pulled over. Oh my God! Here's where you got to get me. Go. There you go. Ooh, don't go that hard. I was just making sure they didn't hit me, man. Sometimes in cities, when this you thing hit, can go. When you hit that left blinker, or you hit that blinker to move lanes, a lot of times in cities they won't let you. If you like go to like Des Moines. They won't let you at all. You have to literally force them over and out of the way. But here, they most likely will let you over. The, the Mercedes behind us was giving you room, so you were lucky. But every time it's like that, you got to hit the blinker and find a gap. That's all there is to it. You find a gap big enough to fit your vehicle, and yes, shove it in there. Yep, we had to switch drivers while we were at Arby's there. It seems since my daughter's got her driver's license, she has picked up new habits versus when I was teaching her how to drive. And I'm not mad at her for it whatsoever. Not whatsoever. I was way worse when I was 16. And granted, I don't know how fast she's driving when I'm not with her, but her mom runs five over. And I guess five over is actually the slow part of going over the speed limit. We were getting past, well, we were on the interstate. I always expect to get past, because I usually run 68, maybe 70, no matter if I'm in the pickup or the car. Oh, I'm sorry, the semi or the pickup. Let me get on the two lanes, I'm usually 58. I don't get it. I truly don't get it. What's everybody's hurry? You know, what happens if I told you the reason the state up the speed limit on all these interstates you know we used to be 65 well we used to be 55 but I don't remember those days but it used to be 65 now we're at 70 and if you go out west everybody's running I think speed limits around 80 75 80 what happens if I told you that the only reason they bumped up that speed limit was so that you would pay buy more fuel 
which in turn pay more taxes on those highways. Would you believe me? Or are you one of those people that would say it's scientifically proven that it's safer to run at that speed than at a lower speed? Anyway, let's get back onto a positive note. My dad has his princess, his German Shepherd. Well, his German Shepherd has left her mark all over inside his pickup, just like my boys leave their mark inside my pickup. I decided it's time to vacuum it out. So we're gonna scrub a dub dub the inside of dad's pickup, get her all nice and cleaned up. That way Millie can throw a new layer of uh, hair in there. And grandpa, grandpa, come on man, coffee? Coffee, you coffee drinkers, what in the world? nothing big we're just gonna wind down a little bit chill out and not worry about the semi because that's all what this boils down to is how much it's gonna cost to fix a truck that's not making a boatload of money right now that's why I'm so spun up I think Well, I think we're just gonna have to call that clean. That sun's about to drop down behind the house over there and I'm running out of daylight. <sighs> Feel much better, much better. You guys like that at all? 
or you can just uh, clean stuff and it just makes you feel better if you're feeling stressed out a little bit you just start vacuuming wiping things down um, washing the whole ball of wax that foamer that I got I got that from uh, long farms and uh, that thing works great I love it the big thing you got to remember though is just because you're foaming does not mean you don't have to scrub you do have to scrub still so we do we still have to scrub it every time we foam it as for the inside well the inside is the inside I mean you just scrub it down you have dogs so it's gonna get hairy it's gonna get dirty you live out here you run out to the farm you run out to the timber and mess around a little bit things are gonna get dirty you just gotta clean them up the stressed out part I'm not really stressed out I just I really think they're gonna want to replace that entire air conditioning unit underneath the couch in my semi and if they do that you're looking at at least a couple grand do I want to put a couple grand into the truck right now um, I'm running under the philosophy if fuel hits six dollars a gallon I'm I think I might park it but I said that at five dollars a gallon didn't I we'll see though if it actually does hit six dollars a gallon and rates don't go up at all I think I might actually just park it and just do the YouTube thing for a little bit who knows we'll see we'll see that's down the road right now fuel stuck at 530 and it hasn't moved I'm happy hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did go ahead and throw a subscribe down there those really do mean a lot to me and throw a like down there as well if you're looking for hats clothing uh, sweatshirts t-shirts stickers go ahead and jump onto the website truckingwithschmidt.com every little purchase helps the channel out and I really do appreciate it you guys stay safe and as always I will see you next time